Sorry guys. There was an error the first time I, I set it up, so I had to do a second round. Hello, everybody hopping in. This is really fun. I have never done a mom hop or mom skip, whatever this is called. Hello guys, Heather and Julie, I saw you pop in and Alex, Alicia. Um, yeah, I'm actually kind of nervous. I was laughing at myself getting ready for this because it feels very overwhelming. Unlike Christina, I'm not really good at just talking to um, Periscope for a long time. So <laughs> this is a little nerve wracking. But yes, thank you, Amy. I got this. I am in. I am on here tonight. All right. So a little introduction because I know a lot of you are not my normal followers. My name is Mary Wilson. Thank you, Renee and Karen. And um, this is my website. It always feels weird to like hide behind these things. Um, I have a blog and um, a Facebook page at Not Before Seven. I am a homeschool mom of four children. They are 13 and 11, and one just that my third one just turned nine today, and then six. So hello everyone and thank you. Yeah, the blog name. I have been not before seven since my third one, who just turned nine, um, was six months old and I started a blog. Um, that previous blog is actually now private, but I have the same web address and I started a new one. So um, I've been not before seven for a long time and I still do not get up before seven. So it is so nice to meet you all. And tonight I am gonna share how I fight the winter blahs. Um, I actually like all the seasons for all the different things they bring. And um, hi, Tatiana. Winter isn't my favorite though. I'm not into the cold. I like the more mediocre temperatures. So here is what I do to fight the blahs. For winter, I focus on the treats for me for the season. And the biggest one is hot drinks. I love hot drinks, all things hot drinks. Um, hot chocolate, hot tea, hot cider. I love at Starbucks the hot cider with the caramel. But at home, we focus on the hot tea and the hot chocolate. And I like to make it fun and accessible. So I make sure to do my shopping at the Warehouse Club. And we get a big thing of hot chocolate. I also have a recipe where I make my own. And I keep a bunch of this around and very accessible for the kids so they can make their own. And then in winter, we keep around plenty of mini marshmallows. Yes, it is like a hot cocoa station. I keep little mini candy canes. I kind of stock up on these at Christmas and keep them into in the cocoa station. Oh, I can see a lot of you do that. Yeah, four kids, gotta have a lot of this. And teenagers now. My daughter has friends over here all the time. I swear there are days that my the entire top of my dishwasher is just mugs. <laughs> and this is a big treat. I only buy this in the winter season to make the hot chocolate really special. So I actually get this at the warehouse club. So we always have plenty of ready whip. So, and then for me, I am not the hot chocolate person. Occasionally I do, I do take the treat, but I try to avoid so much sugar. So, I have mom's tea station. I'm a major tea drinker. Everything is in here and this is only the half of it. So I put it in a convenient basket for me so that it's really easy to pull down from the shelf. So it really is a tea station, but that way I can quickly slip it back up in the cabinet and not have it out the whole time. And since we are on it, I will tell you one of my favorite teas, Hot Cinnamon Sunset. I always make sure that's around for the winter. That helps me fight the winter blahs. Oh, I see so many hot tea junkies. And I went ahead and treated myself to a cute little teapot. And that fights the winter blahs to just make myself my own little personal pot of tea every morning and then enjoy it all day. So that is my first this is, uh, the brand is Barney and Sons. You can actually get this at Target or at Harris Teeter, um, Barnes and Noble. This is the brand that Barnes and Noble sells too. So you can get that there too. Lo I love cinnamon and tea. 
Okay, so my second thing is to embrace the indoor activities. I'm not saying don't get outside because outside's important. That's actually my next thing. But to enjoy winter for what it is. Um, ice skating, roller skating, art museums, science museums. I feel less guilt going to these indoor activities during the winter because during the summer, spring and fall, I always feel like, oh, it's so nice. We should be outside. Where during the winter, I don't feel quite as guilty doing a lot of indoor activities. So I've just learned to go with that and enjoy the indoor activities and just know that this is the season for indoor. Um, and speaking of which, I just try to talk to the kids and get some fun stuff on the calendar, like their favorite science museum downtown. We just do that once a year in the winter. Um, just because it's not the free one, and so it's just something we kind of plan for. And another big one we do in the winter is the Great Wolf Lodge. Fantastic for the winter. We do it every February. And, in fact, on my blog right now, I have um, the homeschool codes. So we are going in February, and the two nights we are going, the homeschool codes get you in for $135 a night, which is a great price, the Great Wolf Lodge. Okay, so embrace the indoor activities and go with it because in the fall and the spring, I always want to be outside. My third thing, though, is to get outside. This is huge in fighting the winter blahs, even just a walk. I'm not big on the really cold days, but like Alex on Life on Island, it's nice to just get out and do a walk around the street. So just I tell the kids, bundle up, let's go. And we just walk twice around our circle. So it ends up being about half a mile. Um, okay, some people are saying they missed it. I'm sorry, Alicia, that you don't have um, homeschool codes at your Great Wolf Lodge. The Great Wolf Lodge in Williamsburg is the one I go to, and the codes are on my website. There's several, so I'm not going to go over all of them because they're for all different months. Um, but most of the Great Wolf Lodges will let you use the word home and get 20% off. But I have codes for the Williamsburg Great Wolf Lodge. I think that is an awesome way to beat the winter blahs with your kid. It is an indoor water park and hotel. And the one in Williamsburg, during Williamsburg Homeschool Weeks, offers the rooms for $135 a night. Thank you. Somebody put it in the comments too. All right. And my last thing that I do to fight the winter blahs is my Fitbit. Um, I actually got this used. If you have like um, free cycle or Facebook buy sell trades. This is one of those items that a lot of people get thinking they will make a lot of use of and they find that they don't. So a lot of times you can find them for really good deals used so it doesn't have to cost you a lot. Yay, Jenny! JMO456 is my friend Jenny. She is my Fitbit friend. And that is what's really fun about the Fitbit, if you didn't know this, is it's kind of like a social networking on the app. And yes, Lita, I got it used for $30, which was great. It came with the charger and two of the bands and everything. So definitely what I did is I got on a Facebook buy, sell, trade site, and I just put that I wanted one. So I just put wanted, Fitbit, um, I want to pay around $30. Is anybody not using theirs? And a lot of people have upgraded to the nicer ones. So they're getting rid of, this is the small one. This is the Flex. So a lot of people have upgraded to the ones with the watch and all that kind of stuff. So it's easier to find the flex used. But it's fantastic to get out the winter blahs. In fact, while I'm watching these periscopes, I'm in the kitchen marching because that's what my friends Jenny and Missy have told me that they do all the time. And that's why they're always beating me. But it helps to keep that physical activity up on the treadmill or whatever you're doing. Um, I find that a lot of good physical activity fights the winter blahs. So as soon as I'm done my Periscope skip, I'm going to pass this to Alicia Brignall. And I will start marching again <laughs> while I watch you guys. So yeah, exercise videos. I'm a huge fan of beach bodies. I love T25. Anything that can get me a workout in 30 minutes or less is the best. I love it. And I do have a treadmill. Um, though if you are brave, running outside is probably fantastic. But I do love to get on the treadmill. And yes, Alex, you know I'm watching Netflix. And right now, Scandal is my treadmill show.
So thank you, Amy. Okay. I'm, I'm kind of glad I'm done. I got through this. <laughs> So this was a lot of fun, and I am actually going to be passing the baton tonight to Alicia Brignall. Alicia, if you are on here, maybe throw some emoticons up there so people can um, follow you. Thank you. Yes, Lita, this is called a mom hop, and this is part of Homeschool Scopes. I will write it down real quick. This is a Facebook group. And homeschoolscopes.tv is the website. There's Alicia, guys, so follow her. And as soon as she hops on, we will pass it over to her. And a hop is where there's a question, and several moms sign up to answer that question, and we just go from scope to scoper. So thank you, Julie. Um, yeah, I'll add you to the Facebook group, Lita. Sure, definitely. So let's wait, and Alicia should be up in a moment. And we will hop over to her. Thank you. Brandy put the um, website there. Thank you, Karen. Thanks, guys. All right. I see a bunch of people disappearing, so let's head over. I'm going to go ahead and stop mine. Head over to Alicia.